I want to show you a couple of functions in Excel that allow you to find the cumulative amount of interest you've paid on a loan and the cumulative amount of principal uh, you've paid off the loan okay, for different time periods. So to do this, to illustrate this, let me create a, an, a loan amortization table and we're going to assume that you take out a car loan for $25,000 the APR, the annual percentage rate is 4%. It's a three-year car loan, and your payment is $738.10. How did I get 738.10? I used the PMT function. So I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can expand this to show you the formulas. If I show you the formulas here, you say you put in equals PMT, and I have C2. C2 is the interest rate divided by 12, so I'm making this annual rate a monthly rate. And then you put in the number of periods, which is 3 years times 12 months, so that'll be 36 months. And then I'm going to put in the present value or the loan amount. I'll put it in as a negative number, so it comes out to be positive. So I've calculated the loan payment at $738.10. So what a loan amortization table does, it shows you how you pay off your loan over time. It shows how your payment, this fixed payment of $738.10, is um, divided between interest and principal. And that'll change over time. As you've paid off more of the balance, you'll pay less interest and more principal. So we set this up. I'm going to have the months here beginning balance, the payment, the amount of interest you paid, the principal you've paid off, and then your ending balance. So your beginning balance is just this $25,000. Your payment is going to be this $738.10. So I've just highlighted this cell, and then I lock the cell by hitting the F4 key, so I can copy it down. How do I calculate interest? The interest payment is going to be the annual rate divided by 12. So the monthly rate times the beginning balance. And then the amount of principal you pay is going to be the payment you make here in C9 minus the amount of interest that you paid. The remaining part goes to paying off the balance or the principal. And here, the ending balance is going to be the beginning balance minus the amount of principal. To get the next row, I simply go and I copy this to here. So basically, the ending balance last period is the beginning balance this period. And then I just copy these cells down to the next row, and then I copy them all down. And if you've done this correctly, when you get to the final payment, your balance should be about zero. Okay, in this case, it's going to be exactly zero because the payment isn't actually 738.10. It's 738.10 and some fraction of a penny. Now here, because I used Excel, they, even though they only show 10 cents, they're using all the decimal places. Had I typed in 738.10, you'd probably have a small remaining balance at the end, 12 cents, maybe as, up, as much as a dollar. Now, what you might be interested in knowing is, gee, how much interest did we pay in the first year? How much principal did we pay off in the first year? Now, you could simply add up these first 12 numbers here to get the amount of interest, and these first 12 numbers to get the amount of principal you paid off, or you can use the functions in Excel. C-U-M-I-P-M-T is the cumulative interest, and C-U-M-P-R-I-N-C is the cumulative amount of principal. And then I'll sum them up so we see how much we've paid in total. So right here, I've converted this annual rate to a monthly rate by dividing the 4% by 12. I've taken the I found the uh, number of months in the loan. I've taken the three years and multiplied it by 12. The loan amount is 25000 And here in this function, these two functions, 
you have to tell the beginning month and then the ending month. And then you also have to tell it whether what type of annuity it is. Remember, the payment is an annuity. If you put in zero, that makes it an ordinary annuity. That is, first payment is made at the end of the period or the beginning of the next period. If you put in a one, it's called an annuity due, and the first payment is today. Car loans are, are generally, and mortgages as well, are done as ordinary annuities. In fact, if you've ever had a car loan or a mortgage, you'll oftentimes find, for example, suppose you bought the car on March 15th. Well, your first payment's not going to be April 1st. Your first payment's going to be May 1st. They're going to charge you for 16 days of interest to bring it from March 15th to April 1st and then it's going to be as if the the first payment or the the car loan began on April 1st with the first payment on May 1st. So the reason I'm going to go from month 1 to month 1 is we know how much interest we paid here and we know how much principal we paid. So we can check to make sure this is right. So the function is equal cum cum um i p m t and then it asks for the rate. We have the rate here. It asks for the number of periods. Next thing it asks for is the present value, the start period, the end period, and then we have to put in that it's an ordinary annuity. And what do we see? It turns out to be 8333. So it looks like looks like we've done this correctly. Let's calculate the cumulative amount of principal. Okay, same thing. So we put all these functions in. And we see you paid 654.77. Okay, so that's not very interesting, but let's see how much we paid in the first year. So let's go from month one to month 12. Because we've put these in in formulas and we've at, we've referenced these cells, we don't have to retype that. We can just change the number there. So in that first year, you'll have paid $854.34 in interest. You'll have paid off. $8,002.86 of the loan balance. Let's see if that looks right. Okay, here your balance is 16,997.14, right? 86 plus 14 is zero. Carrier one looks perfect. So you could figure out how much you paid in year two. So you might go from month 13 to month 24. What do you find? You paid less interest and more principal. Why is that? Because your balance was smaller so that you can see you're paying less interest every month and more of the principal. More of your payment goes to paying off the principal. Let's see what happens when we go for the entire um, 36 months. What do we see? We see that the total principal you paid was 25000 That's the loan amount. This is how much interest you paid. And we could actually sum this up here so that we know what your total payments were, 26571 And again, we could, you know, look at how much, how many total, what your total payment was in the first year, 8857.20, etc. So you'll find that this is kind of a neat function. Again, you could just sum these up yourself, but this is a lot nicer to do. It's a nice function that uh, Excel has incorporated. And if you're interested in knowing how much interest you paid in the you know, first year, or the first six months, or the first two years, you know, this works very nicely.